Welcome to the assessment area of the website. Here at AMD, we do two types of cars, General Motor cars and Mopar cars. So what I want you to do is look at your car to assess it. So we're going to go over a Mopar car first, simply because the differences are mainly ahead of the firewall. All cars are similar, but Mopar cars have inner fenders and frame rails. Now, let's look at this car right here and let's talk about what we're going to look at. Mopar cars all have radiator supports. Auto Metal Direct has made it in two different pieces. You can buy the whole support or the lower bar. What I want you to look for is rust or physical damage from an accident. This radiator support right here actually makes the grade and passes. Yours may not. Another weak area in a Mopar car would be that left frame rail and the inner fender. You can see the battery's done its damage here. So examine both frame rails. And then what I want you to do is examine the inner fenders making your notes so you can do your estimate correctly. The firewalls are actually similar in most cars and you know what you're looking at there. So what I want you to look for in the firewall is rust towards the bottom or rust where it meets the upper cowl. We'll look at a General Motors next. After that, we'll move further back into the car. General Motors firewalls usually have a problem right underneath the wiper motor and that's the area that I want you to look at. This one's pretty good, but it'll be rusting right between those joints, then you know you either need the upper cowl, firewall, or both pairs. Right here on the outer cowl A-post area, similar again on both cars because one picks up the firewall and the other one the door bolts onto. Now when you're assessing your car, be advised, seam sealer is not your friend. It'll hide a multitude of sins. Take your time, take the seam sealer out of the car, look at the whole car. The next area to look at is the main floor. Again, similar in all the cars. Here's the deal. If the floor is compromised in more than one area, it's going to be cheaper and more effective to replace the whole floor than put in two pans. Again, look at a Mopar car. There is a little difference because it has a set of footwell pans and an under seat pan. Again, there's a little tip on the AMD thing. If you're buying in pairs, the parts are a little cheaper. So there's a left and a right footwell. Save some money if you need them both. Click the bar to buy them both at one time. Another thing you'll note on a Mopar car, they have weld-in wire covers. When you're making your estimate, think about the small things because they're going to have to be in the car. We can't salvage them, we will be replacing them. Next area you're going to come to will be the roof area. Now looking at the roof, you can see it's going away. I'm telling you, patching is not the right way to go. Pair the car properly. Go ahead and replace the roof panel. Now we're looking at the deck filler and the package tray. In this car we have a good package tray, but the deck filler needs replacing. My apologies to all you General Motors guys. I know we're spending a lot of time on a Mopar, but the car does work well for both applications. Look, the quarter panel is going to be rusting around the wheelhouse, and for you Mopar guys, the quarter panel overlaps the rocker in the back. If it's rusting in this area, probably your rocker panel is suffering also. So we'll move on to the wheelhouses. Well, the next area of the car is the inner and the outer wheelhouse. And you can see right away, looking in the trunk area, the inner wheelhouses are coming apart. Now see the seam sealer coming up the side? Again, if your inner wheelhouses look good, still remove that. It may be rusting there. The outers you can check two ways, right here in the trunk or at the lip with the quarter panel. Next on the list, the trunk floor, and this one obviously needs replacing. Again, you're looking at your car, you're trying to make up your mind. When doing these cars, things to think about would be the spare tire hold down right there and the trunk floor brace. All this is going to come into play. Trunk floor drop-off is going to rest in one of two places. It's going to rest on the top with the trunk floor or at the bottom with the quarter panel. Again, we're just going through the catalog front to back, go through the website front to back. We're looking at the trunk gutter area, and you can see right away that the trunk seal's hiding some damage, but it's obviously rusted away. My encouragement to you is remove everything from the car and get it as clean as possible, get the best assessment. Okay, at the back of the car, we have the tail panel, which is obviously going away on this car. It has a cross rail, cross rail extensions. If you're doing your homework, you're looking at your car, by now you get the idea of what you're looking at. There's a set of frame rails under there, my encouragement to you is familiarize yourself with the car, 
Start at the front, come to the back, go into our estimator, and you're going to get an accurate estimate.